Hello, welcome to my channel, another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I am here to give my long-awaited tour of my library after I moved from Washington and to the state of Virginia. And this is a downstairs library. So here I go. I'll give you a panoramic. Actually, it does not fit in the camera. So that's what the library basically looks like. And you can go down and we'll give you a general feeling of my library and this library space. And this space is just huge. It is more space than a person needs. That is my workstation, which I, I really never use for work anymore because I'm retired. And over here is uh, one of my favorite reading couches. So let's go up to the hardcover books. Now, when I was in uh, college in the 80s, I had a part-time job at um, Crown Books. And the way Crown Books organized their books was they had um, an area for hardcover books, uh, trade, trade paperback books, and mass market books. And for whatever reason, I have just sort of stuck with that scheme of shelving my books. Um, I like the way it looks on my shelves, keeping all the hardbacks together and all the trade pa paperbacks and the mass markets. It just makes a very even looking shelf. Now, the individual shelves I have seen, shown before, and I will just give a very rough view. I'm not gonna call out any particular books in this video. Um, I will probably make other videos about certain types of books. I would like to like do a video showing just my mammoth hardcovers of books over 800 pages. Uh, maybe do some themed books like poetry or nonfiction or stream of consciousness books, um, that sort of thing. And you can take a look. As you can see, there is some room for expansion, which is very nice. There are some weird glows and reflections. Um, the, the, this basement has a lot of lighting and the lighting does create lots of glows. It shines off my mylar covers of my hard covers and my forehead and other places. And let's take a look. And now we are in to my trade paperbacks. Now we are coming to the end of my regular trade paperbacks. Um, they end basically with uh, the, the Books of Amber by uh, Roger Gelassi. You know, there is a uh, philosophy book right after that. And oh, one little novella. After this, I am starting to um, just group certain publishers together. This is my collection of open letter books. They are books in translation. I have a couple books at the end, um, just stuffed at the end, um, like The Magic Mountain, which I am planning to make a um, video on because we're gonna do a group read next year. That's sort of just off to the side. 
Down below here is my collection of uh, the New York Review classics. I really like this series of books. Um, I want to get into the habit of reading at least one of these books a month. I don't know if I'll stick with that. We go down there. We got another second shelf. There's room to expand. And now we have my boxed set of books down here. And I just keep them separated because I may move them to another area of my library at a later time. And at the very bottom, I have my meager collection of poetry. Up top there, I have anthologies. And now I'm getting into other collections. This is a collection of um, science fiction series, sort of like the Edgar Rice Burroughs of Mars, or Edgar Rice Burroughs Mars series. I actually don't have any of his Mars books. I do have his Venus books and the, the terrible, terrible Lynn Carter uh, ripoff of um, the Mars books. The Richard Blade, which are cheesy, cheesy knockoffs of um, pulp science fiction. And my hard cover, now my, my hard case crime, original paperbacks. Those are all the paperbacks um, that was done under the leisure line before they went out of business. And now we're going into just my regular mass market paperbacks. More anthologies at top, more paperbacks. And right down there. Now over here, you can take a look. I have room for another bookshelf, um, a, a mini Billy bookshelf. I cannot get a full-size bookshelf like this one. This is like 31 inches. Now this Billy bookshelf is one they no longer make. That is like a 24 inch. They no longer make that. But I can fit the mini one right in there, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And of course my massive Arno Schmidt Bottoms Dream and more mass market paperbacks. And of course, my collection of bookmarks. I have so many bookmarks. And just sort of off to the side, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with this bookshelf. Um, right now it contains my Library of America books. I have the, the ones in the, the dust jackets and some in the box sets. At the bottom, I have uh, some art books and some graphic novels over here. Um, I saw on another channel by um, Aaron Facer who has a very similar bookshelf to this one and he turned that out so it'd be facing into the room and you can shelve books on both sides. I tried that, it just looked very awkward. I may go back to that. My dehumidifier, because this is a basement and it gets um, rather humid down here sometimes, a fake tree, and just lots of empty space. Um, it's kind of difficult to conceive just how much space I have in this basement. So that is that. Of course, I've got a walk out into my backyard. The trees are finally turning color. And that is a real tree. But that is my library. As I said, um, I want to give a more in-depth view of this library at a later time, maybe break it out into very short, chunky videos of less than five minutes. So if there are things in this library you would like to see, please leave me um, some comments saying, I would like to see, get a closer look at these books and I will try to get to them. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.